we're going to be touching on the evolution of the complexity and partnership of the big pilot. While partnerships are ubiquitous in the watch industry, IWC was very much one of the first movers with its relationship with Porsche design. More recently, we've seen partnerships with Saint-Exupéry and Le Petit Prince. David, great to see you. And I'm excited today to discuss some of the history of IWC's relationship with Saint-Exupéry and Le Petit Prince. Could you give us a little history on the early references from the two different families? Okay, so Saint-Exupéry, uh, the watch is dedicated to uh, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. We first launched 2006. And of course, I mean, Saint-Exupéry, it's a poet. Uh, well known for his writings, but also a pilot. And he, this was really his passion. So it made sense to bring him in the world of pilot's watches, of course. And 2006, it was a, a pilot's chronograph. And 2009, this is the watch I brought today, uh, we launched the beautiful big pilot Saint-Exupéry. Here we have the white gold edition. And for all collectors, I have to say, this is the prototype. So the 250 limited editions, of course, are now in the collections all over the world. Um, but what is very, very nice here, you can see this dedicated normals, I would call it. So you easily see this has to be a Saint-Exupéry big pilot. And also on the dial, we see this beautiful A, which is the A4 Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And of course, as well as Antoine having his pilot's watch, Le Petit Prince also enjoyed some uh, flight time. Yeah, 2013, the little prince, maybe we can say he got mature. It was, yeah, 70 years after the launch of the book Le Petit Prince, the little prince uh, in New York, 2013, we for the first time um, launched a watch dedicated to him, to the little prince. And it was a perpetual calendar, a big pilot, by the way, and also um, a pilot watch Mark 16. And I brought to you another very, very beautiful edition. It's the 2016 big pilot, Le Petit Prince. And iconic for Petit Prince watches is the blue dial. It's a very, very nice blue dial with a sunray finish. And of course, if you look at the back engravings, we have the Petit Prince sitting on his star. And so David, we see the, the iconic brown hues of the Saint-Exupéry now evolve somewhat in the new Big Pilot chronograph monopusher that you've got in front of you from this year for 2021. So give us a quick insight into the development of that first ever Mono pusher for the big pilot. Yes, Justin, very important. And also it's the first chronograph in the world of the big pilot. Um, you mentioned the color code. So we have this uh, brown, the Tobago uh, color. I would say this is the reminiscence to saint Exupéry, but also the blue, which is more the Petit Prince. And um, yeah, a good point is the movement. So um, I would say it's uh, a more younger complication of IWC, uh, the Mono Porsche. It was firstly introduced in 2015 uh, with the Portofino. And um, it's a very nice complication because it's a chronograph and obviously this, this fits perfectly into the world of uh, aviation. But it allows, for example, when you have a look on the case that you do not need additional pushes. And I think additional pushes with a big pilot watch would be a little bit too challenging for the design, for the iconic design of the case. So here, by pushing on the crown only and having a chronograph, I think it's 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 perfectly matching into the world of the big pilot, and I think uh, also the dial is very very harmonized. So it's an additional complication to the perpetual calendars or the annual calendars. Um, like I said, it's well fitting into the world of big pilots. But unfortunately, Justin, we have to to also mention this. It's a limited edition, so um, we have to chase the watch when we want it. How many are there, David, in total? 250. 250, great. And you get to keep one in your museum, is that right? <laughs> of course, from this beautiful uh, mono pusher, and it's the first mono pusher in the world of big pilots, we have to have at least a prototype in the museum so everybody can see when coming to Schaffhausen this beautiful watch. So there you have it, folks, the new Saint-Exupéry and Le Petit Prince for 2021. And like watchmaking, it's all in the detail. And while the changes haven't been wholesale, the small refinements and additional complexity are hugely exciting and really do need to be celebrated.